Hi. So the next uh, version of uh, Motion Monkey is coming soon, and it will feature uh, video navigation, which is something I've been working on the side for quite some time now. And uh, I'd like to showcase one of the functionality on this iPad today. So I'm going to run the, the application here. I'll start a video, this one. Switch to full screen. Maybe lower a little bit the volume. Okay. So let's go back a little bit. At one point in this video, I'm showing a video tag. And so I'm going to click on it. Okay, so on the next um, Monkey application, you'll be able to interact with video tags from within, inside a video, a given video. Let's go back. It means that every time you see a QR code like this, whether it's a video tag or traditional QR code, you'll be able to click on it like this. And then you'll be redirected. If it's a video, it will play the video right away. So you'll be, you'll be able to play a video uh, that you've been scanning on a video frame directly on your player here. And, and so it will, it will work even if the video tag is not an overlay. You know, if it's an item, whatever you have, if it's another screen, if it's an object, if it's a shirt, if it's a banner, um, you know, whatever you have, you'll be able to scan it in motion. Even if it moves, uh, you'll be able to, you know, just click on it and uh, pretty much uh, interact with it. Let's try another video. Here, let's switch to landscape here. Here I'm going to click on the video tag that's actually displayed on the monitor behind me here. Let's go. And here we go. And so, as you can see, you, you're able to interact with video tags, even if they are uh, contained in the background object of a, of a given frame, essentially. Let's try again. Yeah. So, let's reflect for a second about the possibilities of this. Um, it means that every time something will enter a frame, whether it's a person, whether it's an object, whatever you have, whether it's a banner, uh, if the camera is doing a traveling of some sort and you get, uh, you know, a, a point of view on, on some QR code, uh, especially if the video is high quality, high resolution, you'll be able to interact with those tags. So it's not just when it's, it's an overlay, like here on the video hub, I have, I actually have overlays, you know, on the video. It's also, you know, so this just work fine and you'll be able to access them here. For instance, it's a playlist, uh, you know, another one. So it works fine, but it's an overlay, but it could also be a correct, uh, it, it could also be an object, a character or somebody uh, passing by in the frame. So I don't know, imagine uh, tomorrow when people are rioting, for instance, uh, they'll have a banner maybe and say, we're not happy because of this and that and a QR code. And when you click on the QR code, maybe you'll be redirected to a, to a video, you know, explaining the, their, their stance, their point of view. You know, maybe a store will have a QR code on its uh, forefront. And uh, uh, when you look at television, you'll see that QR code, you'll be able to interact with it. So it opens a whole lot of possibilities. Maybe you'll even be able to connect dist distantly to a T-Volution through uh, a webcam QR code. There are a lot of possibilities that will be uh, made possible through that. And so I thought it would be pretty cool to uh, showcase this uh, today.